I can't begin to tell you how effective both fixed wing and helicopters are. Here in Zambezi Delta Safari and Andi Poaching Unit, we've got some transport that we are using to go into the push because we have to change every time so that the poacher, they don't know what are you coming with into the push. Sometimes we're using the motorbikes, the petrol motorbikes. Sometimes we're using the cake bike, which is electric motorbikes. We've got car. Sometimes we're using the chopper. The effectiveness of, of aircraft um is exceptional in our game, especially areas that are relatively open where you've got visibility. The heavy forested areas, they still work because of picking up smoke plumes from smoking fires, but the poachers cotton on to that quickly and start only, only smoking at night. But I can't begin to tell you how effective both fixed wing and helicopters are. We started off using little light aircraft and we did a patrol every day. They were really good initially. We were able to GPS areas where we picked up sign of poachers, poachers camps, smoke, uh, etc. But the poachers quickly cottoned on to it. And when they heard the aircraft overhead, they got out of Dodge City as fast as they could. We gravitated towards the little helicopters because it allowed us to land immediately. And this little helicopter, uh, Robinson 22's The Eye in the Sky, has been a real game changer for us. Especially into the floodplain, because it's easy to cover the old places, even if it's wet or even if it's the rain season. Sometimes you can't drive the car, you can't drive the motorbikes, you can't drive the cake bikes, but you can get into the places that you want with the helicopter. With the helicopter, it always be myself and the pilot. We find some camp of the poacher and there's some poacher there. They will land quickly and then I will be able to jump out and run and arrest those people that I have to arrest. But if, it's, if I arrest like four or five people and the pilot did have to come back into camp to take another helicopter to come and assist me to take those poachers to the police. It's very, very easy to our team to using the chopper to, to patrol into the floodplain. Even into the bush we can, but some, some other places into the bush, we have to check all the pen that are around the bush. Because some of the poachers, they like to live next to the, next to the pen where the water is. And they know into the pens, the animals that are living into the bush, they're always going to get water into the pen. And then as they're going into the pen, it's where they put the gin trap into the food pad that is busy coming in and out into the forest. Your fixed wing and your helicopters have uh, serious budget constraints. Neither of them are cheap. The helicopters typically run a little bit more expensive than, than the, the fixed wing. For our operation, being able to land and sort out the situation made it worthwhile bringing the choppers in, even if we only had budget to fly half the hours. So that was kind of what implied here. Also, our area being half a million acres is big, but it's not huge. The helicopters cover this area absolutely perfectly. Um, some of the really larger areas that are semi-open would probably be better suited to fixed wing. Uh, they'd probably be more, more um, uh, they'd probably fit the budget a little better and cover the area faster. But both helicopters and fixed wing have a very important place and role to play in, in anti-poaching in Africa. From uh, small beginnings within Qatari 11 with the helicopters, just running one, We've managed to expand our, our operation. We work under wildlife helicopters Mozambique now. And we've got 11 helicopters spread across Mozambique and the large majority of them are involved in conservation work of sorts, whether it be wildlife census, anti-poaching, game capture, etc. One of the big challenges here is maintenance. There was no local um, maintenance uh, facility or license operator in, in, in Mozambique. We have subsequently licensed a maintenance organization within Mozambique and we have two facilities that have been licensed here as well. One here in our camp here and the second one in the Villanculos area with a larger operation back in South Africa for more major maintenance. It has been a problem and one that we've managed to overcome by licensing our own and employing our own engineers.